What's good guys, just a quick update today as I got lots of immigration stuff to get on with. But um, yeah, so both of yesterday's free Bitcoin signals did come through. Okay, so we talked about reclaiming this 15 minute volume weighted ATR band, riding that back up to about 65K. Uh, we did that pretty much to a T, okay, as you can see here. So 1% trade there, very, very easy. Then we said if we lose this low, then we'll be looking for a short. Bang, okay, easy, easy game, straight down. And now that measure move is complete on this uh, little wedge structure. If we bring up the four hour here, you can see that a lot more clearly. Beautiful stuff. In terms of long term, guys, uh, I am just still building my long position. Okay, I wanted to uh, I wanted to long the bottom here, but uh, I don't think I was awake during this time when this did uh, kind of bottom out. Yeah, so it's midnight here. <laughs> so yeah, didn't really uh, didn't really add to my position there. But we are still building that position, and we're just seeing if we can now. Uh, where's this thing? Where is this thing gone? Uh, yeah, if we can retest this trend line or retest this bad boy here a little bit better as well. But as you can see. Yeah, it has come up uh, and attempted a retest so far. It's arguable that this is a retest already, but um, yeah, I mean, I would say pretty neutral back where we started here. A bit of a trap towards the downside, bit of a liquidity grab. And now, yeah, back inside the range, <coughs> coming through for a weekend, which will be probably sideways more than anything, depending on how Friday goes. Pretty big range over the weekend. I'd probably say uh, between the 15 minutes volume weighted ATR band. So between kind of like 62.7 and 66K, that kind of area. <clears throat> and we'll just see how it goes from there. But uh, as of right now, yeah, looking pretty good for the on-chain as well, right? So we can see that, um, yeah, just chilling right now still above most of these moving averages still got this beautiful crush so the on-chain is good uh etf outflows looking okay as well so uh yeah we are still inside this range we'll see how this goes and we'll see if we can get a beautiful short towards the downside with this thing or uh, if it does want to break towards the upside with a beautiful um beautiful <coughs> sorry guys <laughs> still waking up um yeah if we break the all-time high we'll be looking for 10 percent trade up to 80k easy game on the, the macro, right? But I don't expect either of these to happen over the weekend. This will probably be over the next kind of month or so. So uh, yeah, that's your update. In terms of trades for today, I'd probably leave it for today, guys. We are kind of in a weird spot right now. Uh, you could make lots of different arguments of different patterns and stuff like this. But uh, yeah, we got broadening wedge here, so we don't really like to trade those. Uh, no real parallel kind of channel coming through here still broadening wedge so yeah what we'll say here is just leave it for today uh, if we do break over this uh this 65 2 area then there might be an argument that you could take along here up to the 15 minute volume weighted atr band but that's really all i can see today besides that it's a bit of a minefield for bitcoin so just expect volatility as we talked about yesterday uh, and um, just play it safe more than anything right uh, if we do lose the low we do still have this trade down right to, to 60k uh, off of this beautiful um channel structure but um just be aware that uh, yeah, it's gonna get super volatile and I don't expect this to happen today. If this happens today, then uh, there may be a trade here, but uh, yeah, actually no, I, I may take this depending on what I'm doing. But um, yeah, 62K down to 60K, potentially a short there. All right, so that's gonna be it from me. Have a fantastic one. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video on Monday or Saturday if I'm feeling fruity. All right, cheers.